Pretty cool, right? So I had this 3-inch speaker lying around and thought it would make a perfect desktop speaker. So I got to design it. I didn't sketch anything beforehand. I basically just chose the shape I wanted the speaker to be and just kind of rolled with that. This is not a full-on tutorial or anything. I'm just showing you some of the design features that makes up the whole thing. Next was slicing and printing. I printed all the parts on my Haynet A8 at 50% infill and 0.2 layer height. I printed the front cover in wood colored PLA to complement the black I used for the rest of the parts. Feel free to use any other colors. I also printed these thin parts with transparent PLA so light can shine through the top and the bottom edge of the speaker. Other parts used include an amplifier board, a 5521 DC jack, a 3.5mm audio cable, self-tapping screws and LEDs. I'm using true oil LEDs but you can use LEDs from the strip as well. I'll link to all the items I used in the description. Once I had everything I needed, I started to assemble the parts. I first soldered some wires to the DC jack and protected them with each shrink. I then attached the DC jack to the back of the speaker body. Next, I passed the audio cable through the smaller hole and soldered it to the audio input pins on the amplifier. I followed that by also soldering the wires from the DC jack to the power input pins on the amplifier. I made sure to match the terminals from the DC jack to the amplifier's power terminals. Next, I soldered some wires to the LED pins. I'm using two LEDs so I soldered the legs to each other in parallel. I then used hot glue to hold the LEDs inside the speaker body. I placed one at the top and one at the bottom. Next, I soldered two wires to the speaker terminals and then soldered the speaker wires to the wires from the LEDs. The only thing left to do was to connect the speaker to the amplifier. But before that, let me quickly run through the connections again. So I have the DC jack to power the amplifier board, the audio cable to supply audio to the amplifier, and the speaker is directly connected to the amplifier. The LEDs are connected to each other in parallel and also directly connected to the amplifier's output. This allows the LEDs to react with the music. The reason this works is because technically LEDs can be powered by both alternating current and direct current and how to ease an alternating current. Also, this speaker is a 3 watt system so the LEDs can handle the current, no problem. But if you are going to connect LEDs like this to a more powerful amplifier, you need to connect the resistor in series with the LEDs. Let's get back to the speaker now. I connected the speaker to the amplifier's output and hot glued the amplifier to the body of the speaker. Before attaching the rest of the printed parts, I glued on these transparent parts to the front cover. Finally, it was just a matter of popping in the speaker, the front cover, the mesh, locking them down with screws and sliding on the stand. 
So, does it actually sound good? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. There you have it guys, this speaker is a mono system but you can easily adapt it for a stereo system. All you have to do is to use a stereo amplifier and print a second set of the parts. Links to download the STL files will be in the description below. I personally love how this speaker turned out. It sounds good and it's really really cool to look at. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and consider subscribing to see coming videos. Thank <laughs> you.